everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the move runner, bad intentions, Holmes. And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, Big George Foreman. Well, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Any questions? Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going to the shower earlier than you wanted to. Done that time, landing the counter punch. Oh, what an exchange! Now he's getting after it. Here comes another punch. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Good looking counter punch. Good job protecting himself. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Throws a counter punch there. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Uppercut. He's in bad shape. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Come on, work it out. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him. Blocks away that headshot. Locked that away, it was targeted for his head. Locks that 
belt line well. Good scoring counter punch by bad intentions. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Those uppercuts that George Foreman was able to land on Joe Frazier and winning the heavyweight title, they were lifting Joe Frazier off the ground. You know, Joe Frazier, because of his style, as terrific as he was, he was made to order for George Foreman. Locks it away. Missed the body shot. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by George Foreman. Good looking counter punch. Final 10 seconds. Able to cover up that gut. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Stairs and was off the mark. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. that attack move, move. that's great stuff he fires one right back after taking one gotta love the work by George Foreman George Foreman talks about the rope -a dope saying you remember the rope -a dope I was the dope that has stayed with him yeah it has you know that was a ghost that had to be exercised and it took him 20 years to exercise those ghosts Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good block by George. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. George Foreman's got it down pat. Straight is great. Straight punch wins. Yeah, especially when your opponent is standing straight in front of you. Punch it out. End of the round is upon us.
And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Foreman's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. Big George Foreman, originally from Marshall, Texas, where as a youth, Teddy, he was involved in a lot of street fights. I mean, he had a reputation as the kind of guy that you didn't mess with out and about. You know, we've had a lot of fighters that have come out that route. Boxing has saved, has turned a lot of young men who were in trouble on the streets, turned them into not only world champions, but, you know, world champions as people, people that could serve society. Foreman is one of those young men. Able to dismiss that body shot. Halfway through this round here. Good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Holmes' cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Lands the counter. Very good, steady double jab there. Shot blocked. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by George Foreman. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by George Foreman. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy is throwing hard back at him. down low. Well placed shot after landing there again. I don't know how they are keeping this up. They are setting such a scorching pace of action in this fight. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by George Foreman.
This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. Joe, you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by George Foreman. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Good looking counter punch. George Foreman's proving here that he can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting for. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. Good scoring counter punch by bad intentions. That's a bitter hook by George Foreman. And a smart counter punch by bad intentions. Halfway through round six. Combo lands to the head. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Able to get rid of that one. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by George Foreman. So we've reached the halfway point of this main event. Up and down, side to side. Blocks that punch. Misses his opponent's headshot.
Russian right hand after he got hit. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just straight action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Stay away from the inside. to go in a round that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Locks that belt line well. He likes to fight on the outside, but right now he's taking some punishment. Well, he's standing up tall. He's on the outside, but he's allowing his opponent to get into places where he can find them. Standing straight up. End of the round here. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. It's turning out to be a very good fight because it's very competitive. It's one of those fights that's really hard to score. Yeah, it is hard to score. It's going to be up to the judges now. Hopefully, they've been watching the way they need to watch, and they're competent enough to make sure that, that it's not just a matter of who's throwing, but, you know, who's really landing. right from the start. Hey, I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. better on the outside much better when he has some space and he's at long range so pushing off here creating space is the right thing to do Mousetrap day let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. <laughs> he covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. <laughs> nice block by Foreman. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. It goes like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before.
this round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Teddy. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier. A little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. Good block by George. Holy cow! Holmes is stunned and he is hurt. Foreman's mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Thinks we're going against him. Now the tide has turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered, good things are happening. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Big block by Big George. George Foreman's got to deal with a cut around his eye. Now, it looks like it's below his eye, so we'll see what kind of effect it has. Back and forth exchange. Block that time. It was intended to the head. Well, there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe to toe war. Oh, what a great round! He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in... Oh, that's got to hurt. Holmes is stunned, and he is hurt. Punch it out. Punch Foreman's it out. showing some real guts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he has gathered momentum. Yeah, he behaved like a fighter. He got through the tough times, and now guess what? Good times in front of him. the round is upon us and oh boy we need to catch our breath ourselves now these guys are not shy about introducing themselves they came right out at the beginning they said hello with punches punches and bunches great exchanges we've seen so far Holmes is doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, when special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Good way to protect the midsection. Very 
nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming out. Wow! Holmes has been stunned. Come throw some punches here. He was damaged moments ago, but now he's got his feet back under him. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Foreman dismisses that with a block. George Foreman blocks that punch. Good looking counter punch. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Good-looking counterpunch. making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. Holmes is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. His punches just don't have that snap to them. And if you look at his overall ring movement, he doesn't seem that sharp. I think he's starting to tire at this point. You know, Joe, it's an interesting thing. A lot of times you think guys aren't in shape when you see that. But he came in a little bit lower than he had been in his previous fights. I think he might have left it in the gym. I think this is a case where maybe he overdid it. He overtrained a bit. And right now it's showing. One, but gets one. Good work by George Foreman. George Foreman blocks that punch. Way to block there. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by George Foreman. defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Holmes is just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. Back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Right. For a 
protecting his head well with his guard. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Holmes is just not landing any body punches in this fight. Well, he looks like a guy who hasn't been taught that. We're getting a little bit of an x-ray, a little bit of a peek into what his trainers show him in the gym or what they don't show him. Good counter punch. The twists and turns and the non-stop battle. It continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go. Well targeted double jab by bad intentions. Blocks it away. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. was a highly competitive back and forth bout. Now let's hear which way it went. The judges score goals. All three judges score the bounce. A draw. Well, it's been said it's like kissing your sister. It goes down as a draw. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.